This year, I started praying for more in 2024. What exactly does that mean? And for you, what would you want more of? Or those open doors? What doors seem to be closed that you'd like to walk through? Haggai tells us to write our vision and make it plain. Have you written down any of your desires or thoughts? Or or are you still going around in uh, circles? (laughs) Still going around in the same old, same old. Uh, I believe we're in quick time acceleration, evil and darkness. Uh, It's getting thicker. And boy, do we need the light of the world. We need the light of God to light our path, enlighten our eyes of understanding more than ever. And the only place that we're going to really get that, nope, it's not in church. It's one-on-one, sitting in the scriptures, in the word of God, and letting him speak to us, show us, and give us understanding. Do you know you could read the whole Bible and not get any understanding except that God himself, the Holy Spirit, would enlighten your eyes and give you that spiritual understanding? Because it's not a book that can just be read and taken in in our mental or emotional status. We have to have a spiritual understanding, and that only comes through God himself. So one verse in Isaiah 54, 2, says, Enlarge the place of your tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitations. Spare not, lengthen your cords, and strengthen your stakes. And then you'll break forth on the right hand and the left, And your seed, your children, will inherit. They'll inherit what you have stretched to reach, what you have strengthened, family character, family integrity, those things that you have as pillars in your family, they shall be inherited. Train up your children in the way they should go boy, at my age, I still go back to things I, those are like the unspoken rules. They're like stability. But most of the greatest gift my parents ever gave me was just to have faith in God. And even through all their mistakes, they still spoke the word of God. We memorized scriptures and we sat in the word of God and it governed our life. And it still holds me like an anchor And I pray it will settle you, strengthen you, even while your faith is being stretched. It's okay. Go for more in 2024. Amen. Amen.